very warm welcome to all of you from Old Trafford, Manchester. I'm Peter Drury, and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Well, I'm going to go for the little wriggler, that is Raheem Sterling. Uh, his small frame and, and pace gives him a real advantage over bigger, slower defenders. And his turning sharpness is another very tricky part of his game. And he's a handful. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Now it's Sterling. Jordan Henderson. Gerrard. Sterling. Glenn Johnson with the ball through now here's the through ball and the Herrera now it's Henderson Sterling and it's Johnson Midway through the first half, and there's an impotence about this game that's causing me concern, and, and probably most of the stadium too. Let's just hope that by the end... Goal! Manchester United! He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Manchester United draw first blood here. Look, we know they're in control now, but they can't let their concentration drop, not one bit. Henderson. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Tries a through ball. And now they can launch a counter. Ashley Young. Di Maria. And that's caused a worry or two. And that is one very relieved man between the sticks. There was no way he was going to get to that, and he knows it. Smalling gathers from the goal kick. And a Herrera. There's a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Good clearance and very necessary. And it's Coutinho. Now the pass. Sterling. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. One matter. Doing well down the right, but he's left himself in need of support. Well read, he sorted that out. Manchester United are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Chan. So they got the only goal to give them a 1 0 lead. Ibe looks to dink one in. Balotelli. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. This one goes for half-time. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. 
Manchester United leading 1-0 at the break. So they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Steered out wide. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Oh, just about here, the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. Now it's Rooney. Well, he just ran down the cul-de-sac then, no wonder he lost the ball. Glenn Johnson. Now it's Balotelli. Now it's Sterling. Sterling passes it through. Chance! Phil Jones. Demonstrating fabulous determination, he just will not be beaten. Manchester United haven't made a substitution yet. And he's made certain that won't get through. We sit high. Phil Jones. Marcus Rojo. Di Maria. Going full steam ahead down the left flank. Looks like a good ball through. Skirtle positions himself well and cuts it out. Half an hour gone in the second half. Looks to slip it through. Now it's Rooney. Rooney with a shot! Wayne Rooney! Only him! Two up! And threatening to pull clear. Oh, my goodness, that has ripped the rigging. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that out. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Manchester United grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2 0. Smalling passes it through. Both sides a bit lacking in intent. It's come loose. And it's Juan Mata. Jordan Henderson. Another piece of really good defending. Looks like a good ball through. Valencia. Fine defending there. Valencia with the ball through. Oh, taken with style. Offside. Is the light very short lived? The referee's assistant did have his flag up. It might have been close, but it was correct. Disappointment and relief on either side. Nothing doing. Lothar. Gerard. 
Glenn Johnson. And that will be the final act. So they have their win, they had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them, and the result followed inevitably. Well, how will we look back on that? Listen, I've experienced the highs and the lows of derby clashes, and I can tell you that when you win one, it's uh, pretty special. There's so much at stake, it's, it's almost a relief to get it over, and uh, I certainly can identify with the euphoria we're watching now. I think they deserved it. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.